So, in the last lecture, we were talking about uh, how to go about deriving the um, exact transverse modes of a uh, fiber. And we said to give a quick recap, we said modes are transverse spatial distributions that are allowed in the fiber. Uh, we use the scalar approximation, we also use the weakly guiding approximation and we solve the wave equation in the cylindrical coordinate system because of the cylindrical symmetry of the system. Then we uh, separated out the wave equation into the radial and azimuthal parts by using a variable separable method. And azimuthal uh, second order differential equation immediately gave us cos L phi sin L phi as the two possible solutions and we discussed a little bit about degeneracy uh, as far as L is concerned. Um, the important thing to remember here is that the propagation constants of the supported mode that gets bounded. If it is a guided mode, it will get bounded by what? It should get bounded by the beta square should be less than k naught square n 1 square, but it should be greater than k naught square n 2 square. Uh, now, what was left was solution to the radial part. So, the radial part uh, for the guided modes, we said that uh, in the radial equation, you actually had <coughs> n as a function of r, which means that in a step index fiber, you can clearly write two separate equations, uh, one in the core and one in the cladding. Even in graded index fiber, you can write one in core and one in cladding, but in graded index fiber, you will not have n 1 square, you will have the n as a function of r here again. It could be a parabolic profile or depending on what profile you have. Okay. So, core you have this, cladding you have the two separate equations. And uh, for convenience, we are going to redefine some of these uh, parameters. So, you define u as k naught square n 1 square minus beta square times a, w as beta square minus k naught square n 2 square and this has to do with whether uh, the, the allowed values of beta square. So, that your u and w, um, what is under root is always positive okay, for the guided modes. And uh, what you can immediately see is that u square plus w square is going to give you a number v square. And now, this v square is um, constant once you have picked your fiber and you have picked your wavelength. Right? Once you have you have a wavelength of operation and you have your fiber that you are going to use, your v is constant. And depending on your v or depending on your n 1 and n 2, you will have u and w as variables. Okay. So, we can rewrite the uh, differential equations in the core and the cladding in terms of this u and uh, w. No, is a under root or u by a is this. So, u square. So, a should be uh, a should be outside the root not under root sorry. So, that u by a is this number and this is square of u by a. So, u square by a square minus l square uh, which came from here. You have in the cladding you have this equation. Uh, there is an error when l square comes here there is a negative. So, this should be positive. Uh, now, we are looking at solutions. Okay. Now, in the core we already know that uh, for the guided modes it is this condition needs to be satisfied. So, uh, u and w are positive that we have already recognized. Um, the radial equations then form what are known as uh, Bessel differential equations and the Bessel differential equation the general form of Bessel differential equation is x square d y by d square y by d x square plus x d y by d x. Uh, plus uh, x square minus n square times uh, actually this r is it there or not there. Uh, if you multiply everything with r, this should have an r here okay, because you multiplied everything with r. So, so that is where this r comes from and so this one should also have an r here. Yeah. So, uh, so, you so this forms a Bessel differential equation 
and the standard uh, solution. So, there are a class of differential equations, linear differential equations where you can uh, say that a power series is a solution, right? a se power series solution you can substitute the power series and kind of uh, derive uh, these solutions. And it turns out that the solutions for this equation is there are two possible solutions for this equation. One is uh, Bessel function for the first kind and Bessel function for the second kind. Okay. So, the possible solutions for this equation is r is equal to remember r is what we are trying to find out we were actually trying to find out r as a function of r that is what we are trying to find out. This is uh, j l of course, it is depending on this constant here of course, the right side is equal to 0. Right. So, uh, this is depending on this number l square okay, integer number l square. So, which means that for different values of l the form of the function is going to be different. Okay. And what is the variable here? Uh, r is of course, the radial variable. What about u? Do you know have full information about u? What is unknown there? Beta is unknown there. So, for different values of beta it could take different forms. Uh, the issue is that there are two possible solutions for this differential equation. So, the question is which one should I choose? So, before we go that for that uh, one is a Neumann function and the Bessel function both will satisfy this differential equation and the functions are this it looks like this the Bessel functions are this. So, this red one is your uh, j naught x as I said j l of x right of j l of the our argument is u r by a, but there is a variable there right. j l of x will depend on what is the value of l and for l equal to 0 it looks like this l equal to 1 this is j 1 of x this is j 2 of x and so on. Which means for different values of l let us try to keep physically connecting with what we have learned. What are different values of l corresponding to the different azimuthal possibilities right. So, for different azimuthal modes for each azimuthal mode I could have j naught x I could have for l equal to 1 it is j 1 x l equal to 2 it could be j 2 x these are the possible family of solutions ok. And this j naught x itself is depending on your x I mean the the, the form of this function for us you have j naught u r over a. What is our variable here? r is variable along the x axis the radial variable uh, for a is of course, a constant and what is u? u was k naught square n 1 square minus beta square times a. So, if I somehow evaluate the beta of my mode of the supported mode, I will then calculate u which is a constant okay. and then u becomes a constant, a becomes a constant then r gets scaled by that number u by a. But the point to remember is that for different modes the betas could be different. So, the scaling factor is going to be different right. So, for the same l equal to 0 the j naught x that you will get for different modes may look different because the x axis scaling will be different. So, how would those modes uh, how are they going to look different how are they going to uh, uh, look like it is still going to look like this function, but the full width at half maximum is going to be different for each. Okay. So, that is what the physical meaning is uh, this is how the Neumann functions look. So, do I need to say that my answer is a Bessel function or a Neumann function? Can I have this as a physical uh, solution for a mode? What do you see in particular about this function? At r equal to 0, x equal to 0 means r equal to 0, what is the value of the function? It is going to minus infinity. So, it means that my electric field will go to minus infinity at the center of the fiber. Is that physically feasible? that is not. So, what we are going to do is we are going to discard this set of solutions we are going to take only Bessel functions as the solutions even though this set of equations are also satisfying the same differential equation 
okay now the other question is now how do you plot these i mean what is of course you can have these days matlab has functions which you can call which plots this bessel functions but uh, how does matlab plot right so the way it is done is as i said you start with a series solution power series solution and you find out what are the constants so it turns out that jlx gets defined as uh, through this recurrence relation so the power series is actually x the it's it's a you start you start solving the equation by saying that there are uh, you know you have a xn uh, xm uh, power of m uh, am xm summation of this from m equal to minus infinity to infinity is the solution for that equation and you substitute and you arrive at this so we will not go into the details of this but from m equal to 0 to infinity you calculate this this is gamma function okay gamma of m plus l plus 1 x by 2 raised but you don't have to worry about it uh, matlab or python has built in functions which can calculate this and tell you what is j not x what is j not and you can feed in the argument you can uh, get these numbers of course we don't have to worry about the series solution of neumann function because we are not going to be using that so which of these functions are acceptable of course bessel functions are acceptable uh, and for the cladding, uh, of course, this is plus here. Uh, the difference is instead of uh, min, pl uh, plus in the original Bessel function solution, Bessel function equation, you have a minus here. So that equation gets called as modified Bessel differential equation. And the modified Bessel differential equation also has series solutions. And these series solutions are uh, again modified Bessel functions of the first kind and second kind. Okay, uh, so you have again two kinds of functions which are i not i one i two i three etc. and uh, k not k one k two k three etc. Right? Which of these will you choose for cladding? First one. Why can't you choose first one for the cladding? As the radius increases, the power is increasing here. But for a guided mode, you know that as the radius increases, the power ought to decrease. So you will discard this uh, solution and you will use only modified Bessel function of the second kind which is k functions. So you have the j functions in the core and the k functions in the cladding which are uh, going to be your form of your solutions. But the exact variation we will still have to work out because we still do not know what beta is. Only if I know beta I can work out exactly this is. Okay. So, I know the form of the solutions, but I should now work out what are the exact values 